I want to show you a simple process for automating some of your social media marketing. And I really mean automating. I don't mean just using chat GPT with a prompt to get content. I mean, the entire process is going to be automated. Here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you how to get content from the web from any source. And then we're going to use chat GPT to rewrite that content and it could write it in our writing style. And it's actually going to post to social media. I'm going to use LinkedIn as an example here. And this is it. It's just a three step process and we're going to be able to do it in less than 10 minutes and it'll just be automated till you decide to turn it off. Okay, the very first step is we need to get some information so then we could repurpose that information. And typically you do that through an RSS feed. A really easy to use app is called rss.app. Okay, so once you create yourself an account, if you go to this collections tab, you could create new collections that take a bunch of different RSS feeds and put them into one collection. Or if you just go to the feeds tab right here, you could create a new feed and you could search by topic. So if I wanted to create content about generative AI, I could search for that and it will go through, find a bunch of sources and I could save that feed and it will give me a link over here. Now here's one that I've used for my LinkedIn. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. So all we need when we create these is the top link over here. Okay, for step number two, we need an automation tool. I'm going to use Zapier and I'll link this below as well with all the different steps. Now Zapier is the automation tool of my choice. I've been using it for many years, well before I used ChatGPT. But this basically connects 7,000 different apps, including ChatGPT, and you could create yourself a multi-step automation process. And obviously with ChatGPT as one of the steps, it's gonna be an AI powered automation, turning it into a real AI agent that will actually do entire tasks for you. And right on top, this is something they have that I find really useful. So you could use this as a prompt box and explain exactly what you're trying to do. So I just wrote, I want the info from RSS feed from RSS app to use ChatGPT to rewrite it and then post it to my LinkedIn. And you could see simple three-step process. It's going to get the info from the feed that I created already in step one. It's gonna use ChatGPT to rewrite it for me and I could give it exact instructions, which I'll show you. Then you will post it on LinkedIn over here. You could post it to a company page, to your personal LinkedIn profile. So all I have to do is press try it now. Now, once you press try it, it's gonna go ahead and create this for you. So we need to give it some information for all these three steps before we could publish it and activate this AI agent for our social media. And obviously, I'm posting to LinkedIn, but you could use this last step. I'll show you some options because you could post to multiple different social medias. You could even build this out to be a multi-step process beyond the third steps here. But let's go ahead and do the very first step, which is RSS by Zapier, that's the first app. So if it didn't get selected by default, go ahead and change this. And then this is where you could find 7,000 plus apps and tools to choose from. So RSS by Zapier is the one that he chose for us. So I don't have to change that over here, but just in case. Then a new item in the feed, that's what is going to cause this automation to get triggered. So make sure your RSS feed is clean so it's just not constantly publishing things that are not related. So I was doing this for a broader tech, but then I just gave a very specific links to AI news instead, and he narrowed it down for me. I could press continue over here, and all you need right on top is your RSS feed URL. So if I go back to that other page, this is all I needed to copy over here, and I just need to paste it over here. You don't need to do anything else, and then you could just go ahead and press tab to go to the next one and continue and I just need to test the trigger. And when it pulls the information, this is feed C, for example, it found three different news stories. I wanna make sure it's the right one. AI news from TechCrunch, and if I go back, that's exactly what that first one was. And you could see multiple different ones. This one's from Mashable, it looks like, and this one is from TomGuide.com. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with that. Okay, that automatically brings us to step two, which is now, we have some information, but we need to repurpose that information. ChatGPT, one of the best tools to repurpose any information. So that's gonna become our second step. And for that, the process is actually pretty straightforward. Right on top, ChatGPT is picked. It's gonna ask you to log into your ChatGPT account, but I wanna make sure this part is clear. It's not actually using ChatGPT.com. So if you have the free plan or the $20 a month plan, 
that is not the chat GPT this is using. This is using the API from OpenAI, which they also call chat GPT because it is powered by the same thing that powers chat GPT. But let me show you where that is. So this website right here, platform.openai.com, this is where you sign up for an API. So when you run that automation, it doesn't use your ChatGPT account, it uses this API here. You have to actually go to the settings gear right over here and you need to add a payment method and add a balance. I just added a $10 balance here. I wasn't using the API right now, so it had a zero balance and that will cause an error. So that does need to get filled up over here, but it's usually like a penny or two for it to run that kind of automation. But I just wanna make sure you understand it's a separate billing than what ChatGPT is billing you for. But that's how automations work. They run through these type of APIs. Okay, then if I continue and go to this page right here, there is a bunch of information here that I wanna explain in a little bit more detail, including a couple more advanced things that you don't have to change, but I do wanna point that out including temperature to actually get what you're getting out of ChatGPT to be a little bit more useful for your social media and not just seem like an AI automation to carry this step for you. Okay, back to ChatGPT over here. So we're under the configure tab. And one thing I skipped over from the setup that I wanna point out, I chose conversation under the action events, but you actually have a bunch of other options too. So for example, conversation with an assistant, you could use more advanced things on the API side and build these things called assistance that takes place on the other API side I showed you. But you could take more advantage of some of the instructions there. This becomes more advanced though right now, I recommend you choose conversation, but it does have things for transcriptions and translations, even things with Dolly, because that's all part of your API on the ChatGPT side, so you could build images with these. So right now, choose conversation and continue to this configure step. And right on top, the user message, this changes every time based on the RSS feed, right? So I'm gonna press the plus sign. And each time I want this AI to know the title and the description. That's the two things I needed to use every time as my input message. So if you ever built custom GPTs, it kind of works the same way where the user message could just be the content and the instructions go somewhere else on what it should do with that content. So we'll do that a little bit later here in this step. Then the model, so if you wanna be on the cheap side, use GPT-40 mini. This is really as cheap as it gets, but if you want the best, typically 4.0 latest is gonna get you the best result. Memory, we don't need. Image, we don't need. The user name and the assistant name, this is, again, if you're doing more advanced things, so I could just leave it on default right now. But assistant instruction, very important to put a custom instruction for it to behave the way you want. So I'm gonna keep mine simple. And this is a very simple set of instructions you could get started with. You are writing on my behalf, take the title and description and write a viral LinkedIn post. Keep the emojis to a minimum and it should be friendly yet professional. The tone should be friendly yet professional. And then what you could do is, here is some of my favorite LinkedIn posts and use those as an example and copy and paste some. So it could mimic your style or someone else you're trying to mimic. That could go all inside of this instructions. Now I have a ton of videos about custom instructions. When I build GPTs, I use much more advanced things. So if you ever use a custom GPT and built that, that requires a custom instruction. So check out some of those videos, but it could be as simple as this to get you started. And then if you're not liking the results, come back and then change this instruction or add to it. Over here, the maximum token, this is kind of the length are you gonna get. I'm gonna leave that on the default. The temperature though, if you don't know about temperature in these models, if you're close to zero, it tries to basically follow this as close as possible without getting creative. If you go all the way to one, it tries to be more creative. I don't like it to be more creative typically for this specific use case. So I'm gonna take it right in the middle at 0.5, so you could type that in. You can start with one, see how you like it. If it's overly promotional, which you could also add, don't be overly promotional or promotional at all. You could add that to your instructions too. And the top P, I'm gonna leave that at one too. Let's press continue. And right here, it's gonna ask us to test this step. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a test. This is gonna make sure we have enough credit so it could actually connect to the API and use the API. So we want to make sure we get that check mark right over here. And as long as we got that check mark, it's going to take us to step number three, 
which here we need to add our social media accounts. In this case, I added LinkedIn. But let me go ahead and change that just to show you what other options are available. If you wanted to post to Facebook, you could do Facebook. If you wanted to post to Instagram, you could do Instagram. If you wanted to post to Twitter, you can't post to Twitter or x.com, I guess it would be called. And that is because x.com has a very expensive API that does not work with a lot of automation tools. So that one is going to have to be skipped on this step. But for LinkedIn, we definitely have LinkedIn over here. So we want to choose that. OK, right over here under comment under the configure tab, we're going to choose the conversation here. So we'll pick that and we're going to pick reply. So we'll choose that as our option. It's visible to anyone, but you could change that if you want. Everything else here, you don't have to do anything with. So these two only had the stars and this is exactly what you want there. Press continue here. And on this page, you could go ahead and test it. And I believe I already set this up, but at some point it's going to ask if you want to post to your personal page or if you want to post to your business page. If you have a business page on LinkedIn, I chose the business page in this case. And then you could go ahead and test that step over here. Make sure you get that check mark that everything is working. And now if I press publish on this, I'm just going to press publish. I'll go delete this post right now. But if I go to LinkedIn, you could see on my business page here, this one was from eight minutes ago. So there hasn't been any new updates yet on that RSS feed. So this is the last time I ran it over here. And this is the post that it created for me. So this probably needs a little bit of help. It still <laughs> used too many emojis. So I could say limit it to maybe one emoji or zero emojis. And I could give it some more instructions to improve the formatting here. So there's a little bit spaced out. But the automation now is live. And anytime you click that zap on Zapier, you could go ahead and turn it off from over here so it's not running all the time. Now, the purpose for these agents basically to get them running all the time. So you want to make sure you tweak this enough so it's running at optimal performance so you don't have to turn it off. But if you do turn it off right over here, you could always turn it back on just like that. You don't have to recreate it and you could run it from here too just by clicking that. And that's your crash course for automating your social media marketing, especially the things you don't have time for. <laughs> like I just don't have time to constantly post on LinkedIn. So it still gives me a presence on LinkedIn, but I could literally set this up, takes 10 minutes, and then I'm hands off. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.